Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is gonna be a tutorial. I'm gonna bring you a match on Shakura's Plateau. I would be spawning in the upper right as the Red Zerg, and my opponent Rip Zone is gonna be spawning over here on the upper left as yeah, upper left. There we go, as the Blue Brotas. Um, this game, or just so shortly before this game, I had. Uh, Watch a few games of some of my uh, friends, and they showed me this really cool build, and I kind of wanted to do it because it seemed like it'd be fun. And I don't know. Uh, yeah, so it's, gonna, it's just gonna be standard here. Oh, oh wait, never mind, never mind. <laughs> I did those games after this. Uh, I actually saw games from Idra, and he did this in the MLG Columbus 2011. Uh, and it looks really solid build. And I've been wanting to change up some of my builds. Because they've been getting pretty weak. Or I shouldn't say weak, they're still pretty strong. As strong as Zerg, Zerg is going to get in StarCraft 2 Wings of Liberty. And so... I mean, 14-14 is still probably the safest opening by far. Oh, and he also scouted close positions, or north-south, from where he uh, spawned. And you cannot spawn in those positions, thankfully. Zerg would QQ all day. And so, what I'm going to do is I'm... Uh, Gonna be putting my pull down at 14 or something. Yeah, I'd put it down at 14. And then is he gonna make it? Oh, yes, it is. Cause that is a hero drone making, turning himself into a hatchery for the good of the swarm. A little creature in there. It, there is right. Where is it? That's annoying. I wanted to see it. Anyways, uh, I delay my gas for a little bit. So I can get that early hatchery. And, uh... Yeah, he's just going to be doing a normal build. Uh, gateway, Cybercore. And he threw down his gas at a normal time. And he's getting his second gas a little late. But then again, I don't really know Protoss openings all that well. Not anymore, at least. Okay, yeah. He has gotten it. Honestly, I th would think that it would need to be a little earlier because most of these builds you do go more uh, sentry heavy, so they are very gas intensive. Hundred gas per sentry. And I accidentally queued up sentries, or <laughs> not sentries, queens, queens. I just got up the ramp. See, so just zealot. I see the stalker pop out, and now I'm worried because that stalker can mean he's saving up for stargate. Uh, saving gas for DTs or foregating. That that's what that stalker means. Because at this point, he may or may not still do a three eight expand. So I have to sacrifice this, this overlord. I do only see two gateways. I click on both of them just to make sure. I want to make sure there's nothing else. And I know that there's two pylons here, and there's another pylon. And at this point in the game, he can't or he won't have any more. Ha! Little thing in there. See? Thing's awesome. Then it turns him into to a giraffe. And it's gonna headbutt people when they come in. Anyways, he does do a 3 head expand. It's a really... Un I don't understand it. So I just hit a ling back here. And about the time he should be getting it up, I just sent it in and sacrificed it. Even though this is actually a early, early nexus... Normally they come out at uh, six fifteen or six thirty on the in-game timer, and I'm gonna be going for early upgrades. That's a big part of this build because upgrades for Zerg uh, are very important, and I'm actually gonna be going plus one melee attack for those, and that's gonna be really nice. And once again, I'm almost supply blocked. It's really annoying. Oh, look at this Banelings. 
I really wish I could sing. So go, Bane links, Bane links, Bane links. Oh, yeah, I can't sing, so I'm not gonna do that. I was worried about this overlord getting sniped right there, so I just kind of scooted it along the edge. And there's no point for him to break these rocks just to get an overlord. And I don't understand why he got the stalker first. It, I don't know. It's just kind of confusing to me. Hey, no health bars. Ooh. Ooh, that kind of looks like, uh, that. Like, on their back. That, that's cool. Never realized that. Hmm. Anyways. I digress. Yeah. Plus one melee attack. I'm mining off of, uh, all those gases. And I actually throw it on this Rotorn. It's a little late for what I'm doing. Or what I'm trying to imitate. Because I only saw the match once. And I knew that he expanded about this time. Because I actually looked on the clock. Yeah. After seeing it once, I'm nearly replicating it. It's pretty awesome. I'm turning all these uh, Zerglings over here into Banelings. So that I can uh, hopefully do a pincer or a hammer and an anvil. Even though it won't be much of a hammer and anvil. It would be more of a pincer. Um, so I'm just getting mostly Zerglings here. I'm still droning hard. Because I know that he hasn't uh, moved out yet. Otherwise, I would have seen him with this awesome circling. Just sitting at the watch there. Chilling. Like a villain. Ooh, and I'm also getting Baneling speed. Oh my goodness. I'm not going to be doing Baneling drops. Because I've had bad experience with them lately. It's just not good. And right now, he has so many sentries. I don't know if you've ever played this, but it's so annoying when Protoss has this many sentries, because there's no way you can really deal with that. So, I mean, unless you just mass Zergling, fake a attack, then pull it right back out. On plus one. <coughs> uh, excuse me. Didn't quite cough all the way, but oh well. Uh, plus one did finish. Now he had a lot of links. Um, I never saw this observer. Man, I'm oblivious. Anyways, um, I'm just pumping out zerglings and banelings and whatnot right now. Uh, my injects are really good this game. I'm not gonna lie. Nine energy on the queen. Man, that's amazing. And I'm just gonna leave these banelings over here because they're awesome. I'm going to go ahead and get this uh, Roach Speed. going to get plus one Carapace. Because if... Yes, he does already have plus one attack. So that these Zealots can kill it in uh, two hits instead of three. And that's really big and a big engagement. Uh, inject. Inject. There we go. Still keeping it awesome. This one's down to 15 still. He fakes his attack, and I just immediately make crud ton of stuff. Or as much as I could make at the time. Because <laughs> I kind of got supply blocked. So I'm making 12 more links. I moved everything down here. I have yet to get uh, overload speed. Um, I mean, honestly, you don't really need it unless you're going to do bailing drops with him. Otherwise, just keep him safe in a corner. Everything will be okay. Don't worry. Ooh. And that would be a phone, and that's kind of annoying. I'm going to keep going. Otherwise, I assume you can hear the person in the background. Don't worry. And plus two melee attack. Did just finish. And my third queen over here. I keep yeah, I keep forgetting about this uh, third queen. So this energy is going to be building up already higher than it is on these other two. Plus one care base did just finish, so I'm in a pretty good spot. And he did go Colossus in this match. And I felt like being... Yeah, um, I burrowed these, these banelings. 
uh, just because uh, MLG was this uh, weekend. And oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Bane links. I wanted to kill the sentries. All but two. That is right. All but two. Look at the health on those units. Mmm. That's awesome. I don't think you realize how amazing that is. And here's a lot of proxy pylons around here. Did not realize that. Anyways. Um, I now have three groups. Or, if you want to count this as a group. Um, I have Banelings in all of them. I mean, Banelings are what's going to be doing the major damage. Uh, Lings are going to be soaking up the shots for the Roaches, and the Roaches are going to be doing secondary damage. Oh, that's fancy secondary damage. And I know I'm behind in upgrades to what it should be. And I'm also going Hive at this point. Ooh, would you like... Oh, my goodness. Amazing surround with those Banelings. I just one ate him. And she kills most of his units. I go ahead and snipe the Colossus. Because, I mean, they do so much damage. It's insane. And I'm producing 28 Lings, because Lings versus Protoss are really good. Even if they do have a lot of zealots, they're still really good. And just goes ahead and say GG. And I say GG back. Well played to him. And see.